Hey, what is going on guys? Rudelanel here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial, and today we are finally diving into URL lib. Now, URL lib is one of my favorite modules just because it's kind of like really useful. If you're trying to like quickly piece together a script that'll help you do some sort of task, I don't know, typically that task involves the internet, you know, getting information, retrieving information, passing it back and forth, juggling, riding a tricycle, that sort of thing, unicycle, I, I don't freaking know. Alright, <laughs> what, what I'm trying to get across here is that URLib is awesome, and it's a really cool module, and it's, it's, it's great because it is a module that provides a high-level interface for fetching data across the World Wide Web. In particular, the URL open function is similar to the built-in function open, but instead it accepts universal recourse locator sorry, universal resource locators rather than file names. Some restrictions apply, I mean it can only open URLs for reading and no seek operations are available. But obviously we can just kind of build and manipulate this the string that we're returned and like parse through text and look through HTML and JavaScript and all the other crap that might come back to us on our side and we can do whatever we need to do with it. Now they do give you a warning here, when you're opening HTTPS or Hypertext Transfer Protocol secure URLs. It does not attempt to validate the server certificate. So use your own use this at your own risk and be careful because if you don't trust the uh, the website, you may have some issues at the at the far end of it. But okay, this is really cool, <laughs> and it's really cool because it lets you access the internet, which is really cool. So let's just kind of dive right into it. The first function that I want to be talking about is URL open, the one that we just were sort of dabbling a bit in with the introduction up here, and now we can finally look at the documentation and see what it does. So it takes one um, argument by default. That's This is a mandatory argument. It takes the URL, of course. Now. It opens that network object denoted by a URL for reading. If the URL does not have a scheme identifier or it has file as a scheme identifier, this opens a local file without universal new lines, which means the character return line feed and that sort of thing. Otherwise, it opens a socket to a server, somewhere on the network, yada, yada, yada. And this is all the back-end stuff, but anyway, it supports the following methods to read, read line, read lines, close, that sort of thing, and all the other information that would typically be used in like a file object you would find in Python. It also has the proper support for iterator protocols. Okay, that's that's cool. Um, and there's some more stuff through it. But all we really actually have an interest in is getting the information from the URL. So let's go ahead and do this. If I hop over to my Python shell, what I'm going to do is from URL lib, import all. Now what I'm going to do is run, um, let's see, page. That's going to be a variable, and I'm going to store all what we find from the open URL in there. So URL open, remember that's the function we're looking for, and now the URL is the first parameter. And it asks for create a file-like object for the specified URL to read from. Alright, so we need a string in here, and I'm just going to say HTTP nullshell.com and boom! Now page is all the information that we got from that website. Now we can do lots of cool things with this. Let's get the entire contents. But since we can only read once in a Python file, remember, let's store this in a variable. So contents is going to equal page dot read. And boom. Now we can check out contents and we can print out all of the HTML that would typically build up my web page. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of navigation stuff and it's pretty kind of ugly and there's their actual content there and it's the build and everything but here is the source code to nullshell.com. It's the actual core of the web page. Alright, cool. So we've got all that information here. Now let's take a look at what else we can do with our, with our page. We can of course close it when we're done with it which is a good idea. We can um, get code. Oh, what'll that do? That doesn't really tell us anything. Get code, 200. Okay, so 200 is the um, header code, or at least telling us that, yeah, things ran successfully when you tried to extract this page. Uh, I'm a little bit foggy on those details, so don't take my word for it, but hey. Page.getURL, what this is going to do is it'll return, hmm, the actual URL of where we went. Now you can see that nullshell.com, the way I have it set up, it will redirect you to one page by PHP. And in this case, 
sorry, in this case, it's redirecting you to this page up here. If I actually had Firefox open, I can show you this. I'll do that right now. So you can see right up here, nullshell.com. If I were to type in nullshell.com, hit enter, it redirects me automatically to post 12513, sorry, yeah, 12513PHP, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, get URL will return the current URL that you got all this information from. What else can we do? We can see the headers. That's not a that's not a function. That's a variable. Oh. Okay, great. So this is a whole other package of things that we can be looking at. Get headers. Let's see. Takes arguments. All right. Well, that's a whole other thing to be looking at in a later tutorial. I won't get into that now. Uh, I think my curiosity just really got ahead of me. We can look at page info. Ooh, what's in there? All right. There's more things that I haven't gotten into yet. <laughs> Next, okay, so it works for iterations, and we can see the URL. Okay, URL is just a variable, and get URL will return that as a function. But anyway, we did exactly what we kind of wanted to do here. We got the source code of that web page, and we can do that with URL open with the URL lib module. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will uh, see you in the next tutorial.